four main communication mistakes that you don't notice in yourself. You talk too much about yourself and constantly redirect conversations to yourself. It makes you an uninteresting conversationalist. Don't dump a ton of sentences with broken meaning on people. It makes you look unintelligent. You talk too much. Learn to formulate your thoughts specifically and clearly. Giving unnecessary advice. Believe me, people often don't need advice at all. Don't be pushy. Inappropriate arrogance. Be simpler. Modesty makes you strong. Modesty. Do these four things before you go to bed, and your life will never be the same again. The last one is the most important, but 90% of people don't do it. 1. Ask yourself, what am I grateful for today? Which activities move me closer to my goal? Are there any changes I can make? 2. Disconnect. No phone, computer, or TV. This is your time to ease your mind. 3. Plan for tomorrow. Write down your three biggest tasks on a to-do list. This creates momentum that gives you a head start. 4. Breathe. You take 20,000 breaths a day. Try the 4 to 7, 8 technique. Breathe in through your nose for 4 seconds, hold for 7 seconds, and slowly exhale for 8 seconds. This is one of the best ways to kill stress before bed. If you agree with me, please don't forget to subscribe to me and leave a comment as a token of appreciation. Here are five habits of people with high IQ levels. They talk to themselves. Having conversations with oneself helps improve thinking and problem-solving skills. They have a great sense of humor. Being able to enjoy jokes and funny things can make you more creative and better at handling difficult situations. They enjoy solitude. Spending time alone helps to think deeply and learn more about oneself. They are open to new things. Being willing to consider new ideas can help you solve problems and come up with fresh perspectives. They have strong observation skills. Noticing and understanding things well helps make better decisions and understand the world around. They don't complain. They find solutions. Instead of just talking about problems, focusing on solutions helps to be more proactive and make positive changes. Which of these habits do you think is the best? Seven places to stay silent at all costs. One, stay silent if your words might hurt someone. Two, stay silent when you're angry. Three, stay silent if you don't have all the facts. Four, stay silent if your words could ruin a friendship. Five, stay silent if you can't speak calmly. Six, stay silent when you're overwhelmed by emotions. Seven, stay silent if your silence can preserve relationships. If you agree with me, please don't forget to subscribe to me and leave a comment as a sign of gratitude. Five times you should stay silent. One, when you receive bad news, if you could be silent, that's the wisest thing you could do. Two, when you feel like complaining, remember that complaining puts you in a powerless position. Three, when someone invites you to gossip, stay silent, change the subject or walk away. Whatever you do, don't participate. Four, when you haven't verified a story you heard about someone, it's best to remain silent. 5. When you're feeling angry, staying silent is a good choice. If you agree with me, hit the like button, type agree in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. 7 signs that you are very kind. 1. You fear being labeled as selfish, toxic, or not empathetic for having reactions that are not nice. 2. You feel overly responsible for others' feelings and will go to any length to not cause pain, even if that means not standing up for yourself. 3. You often forgive and easily and allow people to remain in your life with repeat harmful patterns. 4. Being nice is part of your identity and you fear you must constantly be this way or you will be labeled as fake. 5. You tell people it's okay and comfort them after they hurt you, even though it really is not. 6. When you think someone is upset with you, you begin to, people please compliment and cry harder for their approval. 7. You will drop what you are doing to help another person, even if that means sacrificing something important to you. Psychology, facts about best friends. 1. Best friends are those who share your burdens, making them lighter for you. 2. A true friend is someone who understands your silence and the emotions behind it. 3. Losing a friend might hurt, but real friends will always find their way back to each other. 4. 
Psychologists believe that if a friendship endures for more than seven years, it is likely to last a lifetime. 5. Friendship is measured by the quality of moments shared, not the quantity of time spent together. 6. A strong friendship thrives on mutual understanding, not constant communication or proximity. 7. Sometimes the best therapy is simply being in the presence of your best friend. 8. A genuine friend will be honest with you about what others say behind your back, valuing transparency over gossip.